Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. I uh, got some passing plays for you today. A passing scheme that is without a doubt my most used passing scheme that I use in my game plays. Uh, if you watch any of my game plays, you've probably seen me run these plays to death. Uh, and I'm going to break them down again because, quite simply, EA's been trying to patch this formation to death since the year started. I'm using the Green Bay Packers playbook, by the way. Uh, but this particular set of plays you can find in probably most of of the plays uh, most of the playbooks in the entire game because it's one of the most uh, common uh, formations I mean it's just it's probably at least in half if not more so check your favorite playbook I started the year mostly using uh, the Eagles playbook quite a bit because it's free and mutt uh, but I've, I've officially moved on I've officially made the Green Bay Packers my favorite playbook if you ask me the Green Bay Packers is the best passing playbook in the game because people are always asking me when it comes to my site what is my favorite playbook what's the best playbook to buy I always say if you're running player it's a different suggestion uh, it's usually like the Raiders if you're a running player or maybe like the Seahawks or something but if you're a passing player I think the Packers have really taken the mantle from the Saints the Saints is a great book um, it's still one of the most unique playbooks when it comes to passing but they've really destroyed a lot of the formations in the Saints like last year the pistol bunch TE was one of the best I murdered the game with that formation and guess what coming into this year it was completely trashed by updates and patches so still I mean it's still a great playbook but like I said some of the formations really got patched to hell and they're trying to do that with this particular formation which I'm going to show you guys in the, in the empty base flex which like I said that's what I'm going to focus on today so I've already showed some of these uh, plays mostly in game plays I've never really shown this in a practice mode that I'm going to do today and I'm showing this again because they've patched this again this is one of the most patched formations in the entire game the only play that they were really successful in patching straight to hell is the quarterback draw they straight up destroyed this but for now we're really going to focus on two plays the first play is the middle high low this is the first one that I put out like I said they patched this one uh, quite a bit but there's still a lot of ways to really make this play work successfully we're going to start off with the middle high low and then the second play uh, is going to be the strong curl both of them I don't even know which one's glitchier they're both incredibly explosive but I'll start off with the middle high low so we'll pick that and then we're going to start off with just regular cover two zone now before I get into the video and before I get into the adjustments I just want to take a second to say that this video is brought to you guys by my coin sponsor mmoxp.com I always say uh, like shares comments really help out my video so if you want to show support show it that way but I also want to say that if you if you've had success uh, buying coins through my coin sponsor because I've had a lot of people comment in the past that they have please comment that in the video description below to let other people know how successful and how how consistent they are uh, because when you support them you support me so ultimately if you buy your coins through mxp.com you're helping to support this channel and I really appreciate you guys for all the support that you give so let's go and let's get right into the video um, I'm gonna show you guys the setups that I used to do now against cover two there's really no setup needed this Y route here is going to beat cover two um, I'm gonna make some adjustments to really expand how it beats cover two because the X route here is going to be uh, pretty much useless that's kind of like a decoy route all I really want to do is put the X route on a smoke against just about any coverage I don't have to make any more adjustments I can leave this play just like it is and the Y routes just gonna get outside of that but if you want to get outside of it to the point where you get gone there's a lot of easy adjustments that you can make so if I want to spread the zone coverages out more there's a couple different things I can do number one motioning this guy across here and putting him on a streak 
that's one of the ways that you can uh, pull that cover two safety back while, like I said, I'm maximizing the, the stretch of the defense here. I'm pulling the cover two safety back with the A route. I'm pulling the cover two cornerback down with the X route. It's really that simple. If I do this, you can see how this play is going to get outside. And then it's really just catch and run at that point. You can see now the, the safety has no chance of beating me. Now, that's something that I discovered uh, works really well. But something else that work, works really well um, is you can basically just streak this A route and you're going to beat the, the deep safety right up the middle uh, a lot of times as well. The cover two uh, is really dependent on uh, the user middle linebacker uh, really covering this A route. And there's a lot of things you can do to really distract them. Like you can put the B route here on a, on a, on a slant or you can put them on an in route. Um, those two things will really hesitate the computer, but will also hesitate the user and if they don't drop back on this consistently right away, you can just hit this A route right over the middle, which is something that I do a lot in gameplay as well. So a lot of times against cover twos, I'll just do that. I'll have my cover two beater on one side, then I'll have the A route on the side. Although last time that pass didn't really get completed. You can see, I mean, I don't even really need, as you can see, we do get a, a premium, I'll call it a one-play touchdown. You don't really need um, to put that, um, that B route on a slant or an in route against the computer because the, the middle linebacker is going to react to the RB route breaking in. Uh, but like I said, it's more of a user adjustment anyway. The B route on a slant or an in route for a check down. Because if you do set this up, you really don't have anything else anyway. You don't have any check downs. So you want to create a check down at the very least. Now I recently discovered that this is also a very good cover two man play. Uh, which there really aren't a ton of great cover two man plays. That's one of the reasons that I run that defense. Uh, even against my particular cover two man where I drop the linebackers on the outside uh, into hook curls and all that stuff. Um, hook zones, whatever. It, even that particular defense. This is going to have a lot of success against, uh, and hopefully I'll put that uh, highlight in my uh, in my gameplay when I start this video because I intend to do that. Um, but ultimately, motioning this tight end across the spread formation once again, this will give away whether it's a man or a zone because you'll have a guy right in front of the tight end, which you don't typically have. But between that and motioning this guy across, you're going to know it's a cover two zone or cover two man, which is a, another reason why the motion is really helpful. Uh, but putting the X route here, you can put him on a drag for a check down, uh, slant the B route for a check down. But the Y route is a really good cover two man beater. It's not a one play touchdown, but I was hitting one play touchdowns recently using it because my opponent was, was moving the safeties in, which is something a lot of people do. They'll move the safeties down or they'll put them in purples and stuff like that. Um, and it's still a successful uh, play because it really beats the press. So I'm going to put the Y route here in a smart route, which is going to have an effect to make him basically go outside more. And you can see he's ultimately right off the line. He's beating that coverage. You don't have to put him on a smart route but I find that it helps. If you don't put them on a smart route, I'll show you what happens if I don't put them on a smart route. It doesn't quite get that separation. You can see right here, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure, but to me, smart routing, it's a good move. So moving on to cover three, this is another uh, way that, I mean, this was extremely broken against cover three uh, the exact same way. All you had to do against cover three in the past was put the X route on a on a, on a smoke. That was all you had to do. Uh, and essentially this Y route would beat this play. And you can see it still kind of has success, but there's something that I did there that I don't typically do in the past. In the past, I didn't smart route that route once again. That's part of the secret here now is putting the Y route on a smart route. For whatever reason, it shortens. Uh, if I don't put them on a smart route, you can see, I mean, I can't really tell because the icon's in the way, but the break is at about 10 yards. It's about the 40. So now, if you put him on a smart route, he it looks like he breaks a little bit shorter, maybe like the 8-yard line. That little bit of a difference really r gets him past that jam, which is pretty much the idea here. You can see it's a, it's a tight route. This is not necessarily the only way you can run this. Uh, one of the more successful ways... Uh, would be to put the, the X route here on a drag. This is something that a lot of times that cornerback will bite down, and you can see now it's getting passed a little bit more consistently as I run out of bounds accidentally. You can also do that on the other side. You can put the, the tight end on a streak and, and put the B route on a drag, and now you're going to have the same success only to the tight end getting over the top. Although, once again, if you don't have a really fast tight end, you're not going to have as much success. You can see I'm just about a yard short. So, like I said, there's multiple things you can do here. The next play, I'm going to be doing something where I motion in this running back. You can have the same successful results uh, with this play by putting the Y route on the drag. So we're having we're doing the same trick here on both sides. We got the B route on the drag, which is going to get the A route open over the top of it. Then we got the Y route on the drag, which is going to get the B or the X route over the top over the top of it. As you can see right here, you know I don't necessarily have. I mean I probably got more speed in my running back spot. Most people probably do than they do at the tight end. 
And like I said, the last play, or the second play really, because this is really a two-play scheme at this point, uh, the next play is going to have this exact same motion. If I'm if somebody's running a cover three, this is going to drive them insane because you might, they might take away one of the seam routes. You know what I mean? People are smart enough to know that cover three seams are weak, so they might use your one of them, but you can't use them both, so you're really just kind of watching which one works better. You can see it's an instant go and play uh, to both sides, uh, which like I said, if somebody's running cover three, pretty much any defense is going to get roasted by this scheme, but this particular play against cover three is going to drive your opponent absolutely insane. So that's pretty much it for what that particular play beats. Uh, the next play um, is really going to have this, a similar effect. If this video runs long, it runs long. But the next play is going to beat multiple defenses in multiple ways as well, and that's a strong curl. I touched on this a little bit in some gameplay video highlights, uh, and I'm going to touch on this more here. So we're going to start off with what makes this play the most unique, and that's how it beats... Uh, cover four and pretty much any defense you run this against any zone defense the setup's going to be the same i'm going to motion in this x route and put them on a streak that's one of the most important things the second most important thing is putting the y route on a smart route against uh, cover two you're going to want to get in the habit of dragging the a route because that's going to be important um, but that's really just going to be a check down against cover four this is the three most important routes the rb route and the b route you can do whatever you want with i would say put somebody on a streak put somebody on an in route that to me is one of the most preferred setups because that's a good uh, check down it's a good timing mechanism for the b route to get open a uh, little bit delayed into the play uh, but this is pretty much the setup and then the y route here is just super glitchy as you can see i mean he just gets outside of that coverage right away and we're one play touchdown uh hitting hitting a one play touchdown against a cover four drop the way that this formation set up if you were to run this from all the way to the open side of the field it's not necessarily a good thing if you do this, a lot of times it changes how the defense reacts. And you're going to see that when I get to cover three because the X route is going to be a home run against cover three from the sideline but not necessarily from the center of the field. It's really weird. Like I said, this really changes how this zone reacts. You can see it still works, uh, but there you can see I mean, it, it doesn't work the same way. It really... It, it, they take different angles it, they just react differently to how the field's spaced so you really have to be aware of where you are on the field i'll go and i'll do that again because i mean you can still have success with this play as you can see right there we're still getting outside but it's counterintuitive it's they, they cover better to the open side of the field than you would think based off the fact that you're running from the sideline this actually works better running it from closer to the center of the field than it really does from the sideline. You can see right here, I'm still getting outside of it most times, but it's something just to be aware of. So against cover four, this is kind of a one-trick pony, but against cover three, it actually has a couple different ways that it beats that particular defense. Um, against cover three, I would say I would go all out with streaks. I think this is pretty much how I run it. I want to spread this defense as much as possible. Uh, and then I'm going to put the RB route either on a slant, a drag, in route, give myself a check down. Uh, but then this is pretty much the setup. The Y route will once again get outside of most zones. Although you can see that's not the best play anymore if you're watching the running back. The running back's really the better play. Um, I didn't complete that pass anyway. But that's once again based off of where you are on the field. Um, if you're in the center of the field, it's really going to be best to hit the X route. This is really going to be more about the X route now. We're going to get an easy one play touchdown because that uh, Y route really pulls the defense apart and then you can see we get the the, the running back right up the seam one more time so you know cover threes weak up the seams this is going to take advantage of that the tight end will also have success but once again your tight end's not the faster guy on the field so I would get in the habit of looking the way of the the Y route or the X route based off the fact that the Y route is pulling that cornerback down but you can also also throw it to the the A route there although you can see there he gets bumped off the route so it's less successful it's something that you can do and I'm going to try to do it one more time uh, but ultimately the running back's really the play now if you don't have a ton of speed at running back that's a problem uh, because that's you know that's somewhat of an issue. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try to force into this A route just to show you that it is there. So you have another route. If somebody's running cover three, you have both. But like I said, it's really all about um, this X route and this Y route. Like I said, the Y route, based off of where you are on the field, will be a better read. But like I said, I mean this is a much easier. I mean you can see how wide open for the touchdown that this running back is. Uh, and then like I said, if you got a, a faster running back anyway, that's really gonna be a smarter play. Man cover one and man blitz. The Y route will also have success. Um, against man cover two, no, because if it's been pressed, it won't, pre it won't beat that. But you can see here, you can have success with this route against most man coverages. Um, obviously, if there was a safety right over the top of that, would also be an issue. But cover one, man, cover zero. 
that's going to be the best uh, setup when it comes to this wire out beating those. So that's pretty much the uh, the look. And then once again, the drag, you have your options for check downs. Uh, and this is pretty much it. So like I said, I mean, here I got a bullet pass that lead it up the field as well. Uh, if you throw it, if you, I mean, not bullet pass, I'm sorry, lob pass it and then lead up the field. If you bullet pass it, it's going to be a problem. You're going to get probably thrown in interceptions and stuff like that. But uh, once he gets past them, I mean, if he's, if he's even, he's leaving. That's pretty much the look. Uh, and then you have the ability to one play a lot of different defenses. So that's it. That's the vid. I'm sure this video went on long because there's so many different things that these two plays can do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, if you guys want to see more plays out of the Packers or more plays, uh, more you know schemes like this, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.